my perception is that it will play a key role in two areas. Because currently the, the, the two major OEM are trying to deploy the same kind of models the engines makers are currently using. So the concept of, of fly by the hours is already present uh, within Airbus and Boeing. But it's not uh, the common model, but they are pushing extremely strongly because it's exactly the same. If they are able to put a sensor almost everywhere, if they are able to do predictive maintenance, they will be able to reduce the number of hours that will, uh, a company will have aircraft on the ground. So being able to, uh, it will be a, a value cycle for both. Because for the company, if they are paying by the hours, they will pay per, per use. Okay, but for the OEM, if they are able to anticipate the maintenance, if they are a reliable aircraft, they will be able to maximize their revenue. Okay, so the same movement will happen also for uh, in the aircraft industry. First thing. Uh, second things will be uh, on the manufacturing side, because currently, if you look at the, uh, on the during the manufacturing process, one of the the highly consuming activity is the quality check because you need to have zero default, default. And so currently Airbus and Boeing are using thousands of quality engineers to check and to validate what has been manufactured. Tomorrow, and it's already happened uh, within, uh, within some, uh, some OEMs, they are using Internet of Things to create a direct feedback from the tools to the ERP to be sure that, for example, the, the torque that they have used is exactly as planned. So the tool it's, it itself will send the information directly to the ERP and it will be compared with what was planned in the manufacturing during work construction. So here the Internet of Things will play a key role because it will dramatically reduce uh, all the, um, the validation cycles. So two examples of where Internet of Things will change uh, how the uh, aerospace industry behaves today.